Yo guys, welcome back to another Arc Survival Evolve um, episode. Now, as you might have seen by the title, you would have seen that I actually am currently having a fresh start. Um, now, on the previous episodes I was actually doing, I was actually on a Fibercraft, so it would be fun for me as well. But a lot of people did suggest that it was way too boosted and I'd like to see something what's less boosted and stuff like that. Um, so I've decided to um, actually find a new server, which is actually a 10 times, I do believe. And um, a few of my mates are actually on this server as well, so we'll probably be tribing up for, uh, uh, with them throughout the um, series. So that might be good and stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, this is uh, really light. It's not really boosted. It's a bit boosted, like a 10 times, like I say. But it's not a Fibercraft and all that lot. Um, I do actually get insta levels on this, though. Like, that's a must for me. Like, I don't like it when I'm just progressing through the levels. I just feel like I should get the levels out of the way so it's not too boring for you guys and stuff like that. Um... But I did get you guys' points how you all said that obviously like the kits aren't worth it and the stuff you get from raids are just not worth it if you're on a Fibercraft. And I did see where you're coming from with that, so that's why I have decided to actually find a new server, as you can see here. And um, so yeah, we're actually currently having a fresh start, and um, hopefully this episode, well this series does go well, and I hope you guys can actually enjoy this series and stuff like that. Um, but as you can see here, I'm just back again now after I've... Uh, just leveled up my character and all the engrams and just skipped all that pit out for you. Um, but in today's episode, what we're probably going to be trying to do is obviously getting started again and um, hopefully getting a team and hopefully finding somewhere to build. Um, as you can see here, I'm just going to show you now, it's not actually a Fibercraft as you can see here. You do need actual stuff, like I say, it's a 10 times or something along them lines. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to actually probably be doing is trying to find um, a base location and stuff like that. So first of all, let's just get this juicy cloth armor straight on and act like a beach bob. And um, let's get started with the episode. And I hope you guys do actually enjoy this. Um, now, like I say, I was also on the Fibercraft as well because I don't know any of the spawns on this map. But you'll probably get used to me getting lost throughout the uh, series. So hopefully you don't get too annoyed with me getting lost and lost and lost. Um, because that's probably what's going to be the most of the series anyway me getting lost or me dying either one of them um but yeah let's just get straight into it um now the level the max level on this as well i think is a 150 which is the max level like team so that's always it's not like too high and it's not too low type of thing and um, stuff like that um but yeah like i say what i'm going to try and try try and do there we go finally got it out what we're going to try and do is uh try and find a flyer and hopefully find some good building spots um so yeah, now I did have trouble trying to find a Tranodon last time, and hold on, what have we found here? We've actually found a Beach Bob. Um, so, hold on. Now, what we could actually do, instead of actually trying to find a Flyer, is actually reading this. Now, as it is a 10 times, I know this isn't going to end well for me, and it's going to be a lot of effort, because I've only just started out and I've got nothing. Um, but I'm just going to get the coordinates for this, just in case I don't actually read it today. And we'll give them time to build up and hopefully when we've built up as well we can probably raid this and get some juicy loot out of this um but yeah but now I'll probably actually stuff it what we're going to do is try and raid this actually um so i doubt there's actually gonna be anything good in here i can see that it's actually like a furnace or something like that inside i don't think they'll have anything else probably have a smithy um but that's about it as they are fully stone and stuff like that um but you never know they could have some good stuff in here um, I'm not too sure yet, uh, but yeah, it does look like someone has tried to hit that, or they might have hit that themselves, I'm not too sure. What I want to do is actually get back to you once I've got everything like set up. And um, as you can see here now, what I've actually got is my little stone pickaxe, and we've actually got a little foundations set up with my little furnace here as well. Now, what I'm actually trying to do is try and find some oil, which I can't actually find any around here yet, so that's actually a pain trying to find it. Um, but what's actually just happened to me as well... Um, I wasn't actually recording this, and I'm really disappointed that I wasn't recording this. It's probably the best part of today's episode. As you can see here, I've actually found two teams. Um, well, that's a lie. I haven't found two teams. They found me. Um, basically, when I was searching for oil, what happened is some little weirdo just came up behind me and started swinging for me like this, trying to take my cloth hat off, which I was pretty annoyed because it did take me quite a while to actually make this. But yeah, he's swinging me like this, and I'm swinging back at him. It's a massive brawl um, kicking off. And I actually managed to kill him. And look at all this loot we've actually just got from killing them. Now, I don't know why you would be carrying this much loot around with you. Um, I've got no clue. But he's obviously going to be back pretty soon to try and get this. Um, but yeah. Uh, so hopefully, well, what we can do is actually use this while we raid him. But obviously, he's not got any turrets. So there's no need for me to use this. But at least we've got some good stuff, I suppose. And got some health brews to actually heal me up. Um, 
but yeah, I've got a high feeling he will probably be back because obviously all his teams is here. But you never know, as he is a beach bob, you're not too sure, are you? He could be back, he might not be back, you never know. Um, but what I'm going to do is just try and find some oil still and hopefully make some grenades or just something to get into this base because I really don't feel like hitting it with a pickaxe for about 24 hours um, just to break a door down and find out that there's a campfire inside. Um, so I think it would be easy if I can just get some grenades and hopefully just do it that way. Um, so it does save me a lot of time and I wish this lag would actually pack it in, it's really doing my head in. Um, but yeah, but as you can see here, I don't know what's happened. I don't know if someone just came around and just thought, oh, Kai's there. Let's just take all the oil out of his way. So we can't get any. Um, but that's the way it's going so far. As you can see here, there's absolutely nothing in this location. And me being me, being absolutely stupid again, has forgot to level up my oxygen. So I'm extremely slow in the water. And obviously I can't go too low down because I will um, obviously drown. Um, now I'm actually back again now after quite a while of searching we didn't actually manage to find anything whatsoever but we've actually came across a Tronodon here which I actually did tame as you can see it's a level 4 or 143 or something like that or 142 um, now a base tame this is actually level 50 and it did take me quite a while to actually knock this out I was there probably about 20 minutes just spamming it on its head and after all that battling it finally did knock out and there we go we've got um a terry number two if you did watch my previous episode terry was my famous tronodon and i obviously got stolen and um, but yeah this is gonna be terry number two um but what i'm thinking about doing now is now i've actually got terry number two is i'm going to try and find a base location and give up on that base and probably come back because i couldn't find any oil whatsoever and i don't really fancy like pickaxing the door down like i say um, so what I'm going to do, like I say, is just hopefully find a base location and um, get everything set up. Or I might actually just try and find other base locations like where people's built up and obviously join my mates later on throughout the series and join their tribe. So it already set up and we skip all that boring stuff out and we can get straight to taming, raiding, breeding, all that juicy stuff like that and skip out all the boring stuff, like I say. Um, so yeah, what I'm actually going to do now is actually go on the hunt, like, like a base hunt, and hopefully find someone to um, raid or find some bases and get them uh, jotted down uh, for future raids. Now as you can see here, I've actually came across a base to my right, as you can see here, and it's like little like, cave type thing in this floating island. Now I don't know who this belongs to, I'm just going to check real quick right here, um, if it would stop lagging again. And it actually does belong to GSDE. Now, I don't know who they are as I am new to the server. So, GSDE, if you are watching this, I'm sorry, but here you go. Your base locations on me, uh, YouTube, and basically you are going to get raided as soon as I built up. So, yeah, um, just heads up for you. And, um, yeah. Uh, but I don't know if they have actually got any turrets or anything. Obviously, they've not got any exterior turrets by the looks of it. I haven't gone inside yet because I don't want to risk it. Because Terry number 2 has only been alive probably about 30 minutes. Don't want him to die already. Um, also, if you'd like to drop a comment down below naming, giving, giving Terry a better name, because Terry number two is just a mouthful and I'm getting really bored of saying it already. So if you'd like to uh, come up with a name, just drop a comment down below. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to try and check inside now without getting sprayed up everywhere. Because um, it's my luck, I'll probably end up dying in a matter of a second. But let's just have a cheeky look through here. And they've actually got some crystal wives as you can see there. That's So they might have actually been here quite a while. Or... But I know crystal wyverns aren't really hard to team. But also there's no turrets down here by the looks of it. Um, but if they've got crystal wyverns and they've got all this, then they've probably got a decent loot. I'm not too sure. And I've just saw some turrets there. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely not going to go up there. Otherwise, I will probably get sprayed up, like I say. Um, but they've not actually got a lot of turrets. So it probably is... It, well, not probably. It is an easy raid after I've actually got built up myself. And yes, yeah, so probably in the future we'll be hitting this for definite if it's not already wiped. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you did actually enjoy this episode. And hopefully this uh, series will be getting a lot better than it was before because of the servers changed and stuff like that. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment down below if you have any